So now let us make a shape morph very easily inside of After Effects. In order to do that, I'm going to create a new composition right here. And mind this that this techniques work with all of the flat graphics, including pictures. Um, and you do not actually need a vector graphics for this. But remember that the graphics has to be flat. So let's say I want the eight second duration of footage of 720 by 720 right here. And this is going to be my first graphics, which I'm going to morph. So I'm going to simply select something like a star right here. I'm using green as my color, as you can see, you can select any color as you want. Uh, but I'm going to make sure that both of the shapes that I'm making has the same color. So I'm just going to click and drag as you can see. So I'm going to just uh, place it out right over here. So just shift uh, right there. And there you go. That's my first shape right there. So I'm going to rename this and I'm going to say this is a star. I'm going to create another composition over here again about about eight seconds. And let's say I'm, I want to make my own shape like something like a water droplet. So I'm using my pen tool. I'm going to click here, click and drag as you can see and click here as well and click and drag over here and then click over here as well. So let me just click over here. just like that. Click and drag so that there's a droplet and there you go. There's a water droplet as you can see right there. I can also go over here and uh, change it to any shape I want. So something like this. All right, there you go. So now it looks really like a water droplet right over there. So once everything is done, I'm just going to right click and rename this to droplet. And now I want to create my composition. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to click on new composition and I'm going to select a 720p uh, as the preset right over there. So this is the preset I'm going to work with. So let us bring out both the droplet, this both star and the droplet right here. And I want to adjust this. So I want uh, the star to morph into the droplet as you can see. So I'm going to just reduce uh, the length of both of the clips as you can see. And over here, I'm just going to increase this clip right here and just change this out. So just like that, let's say I want uh, the three and four for second to overlap. So this is where the morph is going to happen. So from star to a water droplet, just like that. So let me just decrease the size of both of these. So let me just decrease the scale as you can see right there. So you can see that this is the original shape right there. So I want to convert it into a water droplet. So I'm going to go over here on to the beginning and I want to add uh, an effect to this. I'm going to add uh, Gaussian Blur as an effect, so both as Gaussian Blur. So I'm going to use Gaussian Blur on both of these. So on the top one, I'm just going to blur this, these out. So I'm going to use a blur animation on both of these right over there. So over here on the top one, I'm going to uh, add a keyframe to the blurriness just like that. So over here, you can see that this is where the blurriness should start. I'm just going to decrease the length right over here, somewhere over here. So I do want both of the shapes to be overlapping as you see. So I want the blurriness to start from over here for the star. So I'm just going to uh, add in a keyframe to the blurriness and right from over here. So let's say right around over here, I want to increase the blurriness really well. So I'm just going to increase out the blur increase out the blurriness by increasing this out just like that. And you can see that the blur actually happens. and uh, you might want to go all the way up because you want to make the shape indistinguishable uh, from the other shape right here, just like that. So you can see that this animation actually happens and the water droplet actually comes up. So I'm going to go over here on the water droplet again. So I'm just going to increase this blurriness level as well, just like this, just to make sure that it is indistinguishable as you can see. And I'm going to add in a keyframe to this. And over here, I'm going to add in keyframe as zero so that it actually comes up. So over here, you can see that this uh, is actually what happens. Everything is blurry, just like that. And this shape pops up and that uh, shape actually comes up just like that. Just like that, everything pops up. So I'm just going to decrease. I want the overlapping scene to happen just a bit, just like this. So you can see that the blurriness actually happens right then and there, just like that. So I just want to also play around with the opacity or you can see that everything pops up right into place and it does not seem really well. So I'm I just want to work around with the opacity as well by pressing T right here. And let's say I want the uh, shape to actually disappear right over here just like this. So it actually disappears just like that as if it is uh, bringing in 
just like that as you can see so everything happens while everything is blurry so over here on the droplet as well I'm, i want to work around with its opacity so i'm going to press here right here i'm going to add in a keyframe right over there uh, and decrease the opacity because I want that shape to kick in right over here. So you can see that that shape actually kicks in and I want the opacity to come up just like this. So I want to increase the opacity right over here just like this. So you can see that that is how uh, everything actually happens out. But seems like that is not what I want. I just want to increase the uh, blurriness right over there. So you can see that uh, this actually seems much more better as you can see right here. So you can see that this is how the shape morph actually works in and now I really need to make it look like a shape morph right over there. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to uh, pre-compose this part. So I'm going to pre-compose this part as you can see and now what I want to do is I want to play around with its levels so that it does not actually look blur and it looks like shape is morphing. So in order to make it look as if uh, the shape is morphing, I'm going to apply an effect over here called level. So I'm going to go for level right here. So I'm going to add in color collection levels over here, just like this. So over here, uh, what I want to do is I want to make the contrast very low. So I'm going to go over here onto the channel that is from RGB to off a channel right here. And here is where the magic happens, as you can see. So I'm going to decrease the level of uh, level of contrast right over here and you can see that the blurriness actually kicks in So I want to find that sweet spot and make it really push in just like that and you can see that this happens So if I were to go over here, you can see that this is the first shape It actually kicks in onto this blob right here and this is what happens as you can see right there But there's a bit of a pop which I can work around with inside of pre-composition by using uh the uh, the opacity so i'm going to go over here i'm going to go over into the opacity right here and let's say i want to work with this so i'm going to decrease the opacity i'm going to click uh the shape right here and over here i'm just going to increase the opacity right over there as well so you can see that this is what happens it's much more smoother so once i go on to the main comp as you can see so you can see that it is much more smoother and it becomes like a water droplet and there's the same morph without you having to work around with individual pinpoints so if i were to play this around you can see that this is the star and it changes into a water droplet just like that and you can do this with any shape so just like that you can see that the shape actually changes and we actually selected color green that means that uh, we can add in uh, any any color effect to it so let's say I want to work around with the hue now so I'm gonna go around with the hue so I'm gonna go around with the hue right here so let's say I want uh, the hue to be yellow first. So I'm going to go over here change the hue color just like this And let's say I want to go around with the yellow right here just like a star um, Is supposed to be just like that So I'm going to go around to yellow right over here just like that around yellow and I can work around with the saturation as well So that it really stands out. So over here when the shape morph actually happens I want it to change the color. So I'm going to add in uh color range um a keyframe to the channel range right over here and once it actually changes out right over here it is going to change into the blue water droplet just like that and the keyframe is already added in i can also rebuild this onto the timeline so i'm going to rebuild this onto the timeline as you can see and this is what happens so it actually changes from a yellow star to a blue, blue water droplet. And you can see how easy this is. So everything can be done quite straightforward. So you have this just like that, and then it changes out into water droplet just like that. And this is how you can easily do a shape more inside of After Effects by using the blur tool and the um and the levels tool so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe